Hello, welcome to May. Woo, woo, woo. We have um, our full month of May challenges for our Move in May calendar, and it is super exciting. We are starting with our fitness assessments today. So we're going to be doing three exercises. We're going to have squats, push-ups, and sit-ups. We're going to do them in that order. And um, we're going to do as many as we can for one minute. So we have our timer. We are all set up to go. Ella is here. She's going to be our cheerleader for the day. So that is exciting. And then sometime this today or this weekend, um, try to go a mile. And I mean like go a mile. Walk a mile, jog a mile, sprint a mile, bike a mile, rollerblade a mile, go a mile. If you don't... Um, Want to go a mile? Go half a mile. Time it. Write it down um, because we're going to be working hard through the month of May to try to beat our numbers and make some improvements so you don't have to show these numbers to anyone. You don't have to. There's no like you should be able to do 50 squats. I don't know. I don't. There's no like recommendation that you should be going to. So just do whatever you can in the minute and then for the mile you might have a mile map out already with where you live that's great um i have uh, my watch that will tell me when i hit a mile but i like to kind of know how far i have to go um, and get that in my head so you can go to on the go map that doesn't make sense i don't know i'll tell you later um, to kind of map out your your run beforehand. You don't need to sign up for anything, so I will put, just put a link in the video comments for this um, so you can go there. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, I built in an extra five seconds for me to get in position. Oh, squats. Let me show you how to do squats. That's important. So the few modifications that you can do um, so sit to stand, so just sitting, and then if you need something in front of you or to the side of you to help come up, if you're doing this, you're gonna want your heels a little bit underneath you, your feet a little bit underneath you um, to help with that. So just sitting and standing, doing as many as you can in a minute. You can also just do body weight squats would be the next one. Um, my bench is pretty low, so those sit to stands are aren't super easy, um, but squats, feet about hip width apart, weight in the heels of your feet, pushing your hips back, sitting down and coming up, trying to get down to a parallel position. I'm still going to use the bench just to um, have some sort of measurement. So whether you are using your couch, a chair, a bench, something to have underneath you so that you know how far you're going so that you don't end up doing baby squats for this minute. So whatever method you choose to do your squat, that's the one that you're going to use at the end of the month as well. So whatever you think you're gonna feel comfortable with, that's what you're gonna go with. And let me start this. We're gonna go in, so make sure you count starting now going. And we're going as fast as we can here, trying to get as many in as we can. Halfway. That's it, stop. It's not very loud. Um, I have my pen and paper, just lots of push ups, and that's. Um, I got 40 
37, I think. I don't know. I might have to go back there and count. So our next one is push-ups. So you can do those standing against a wall if you want to. Um, if you choose to do this method, just mark how far away your feet are from the wall because the farther your feet are away from the wall, the harder it's going to be. So when we come and retest at the end of the month, you want to make sure that you're from the same spot. You can also use the edge of a bench like this to do your push-ups. Even if you want to do them like that from your toes, um, you can do that too. And then the final option would be just straight down on the floor. So from your knees or from your toes down at the floor, hands should be a little bit wider than shoulders, kind of right underneath your shoulders. And again, tr try to use the method that you're gonna be able to get a full movement through. So coming all the way down to your chest here, or your nose to the wall up there, or again, chest down to the floor. So whichever way, we're going to get started now. So make sure you count these again as well. And here we go. Begin. Ten seconds. And stop. Oh, that was annoying. Um, I think I got twenty seven. Just in case you care. Oh. Okay, and then our final one are gonna be sit ups or crunches. So I have my feet underneath the couch to help support that. You can have someone stand on your feet or just not. I think it's easier. And then um, doing either ugh, a crunch, trying to get your shoulder blades off the floor and back down. That's your option one. Otherwise doing a full sit up is option two. I'll be doing a full sit up, but we'll probably be using a little momentum. Try not to do that, okay? But here we go, this is our last one. In three, two, one, Ten seconds. And stop. At twenty-three. 
So that's it. Save these numbers somewhere. Save them in your phone. Save them in your notebook. Put them down somewhere so that you have those to refer to at the end of the month. If you want to do a weigh-in, you can do that as well. I would recommend doing it at the same time every every time that you weigh in. So when I like to weigh in, I like to weigh in like first thing in the morning before I eat, drink, exercise, anything at all. So just the same time. So if you're gonna do that, I would recommend doing that tomorrow. You can do your waist circumference, your hip circumference if you have a measuring um, thing for that, or stick with this. Don't forget to do your mile. And we will check back on Monday for some goal setting and mental movement on Monday. Wow, mental movement Mondays in May? Can you even believe all of those M's? That's a lot. So have a wonderful weekend and we will see you on Monday.